So there's this guy, the Pursuit Blog, who makes Christian YouTube videos, and as far as Christian YouTubers go, uh, he's not so bad. He's one of the more likable ones. He's like Brock Lawley, but without a face that makes you want to tear your eyes out, and without a voice that makes you want to set your ears on fire. And here's a video that he did in which he explains something that I never really understood about Christianity. Something I've been pondering of late is this question. Why did Jesus have to die? I mean, couldn't God have just waved his hand and forgiven all of humanity for their sins? That's something about Christianity that's never really made sense to me. The idea that God saved human beings from punishment that he believed that they deserved by becoming human, sacrificing himself to himself in order to appease himself. If God sets the standard of what is just, and he didn't want human beings to get the punishment that he thought they deserved, why didn't he just forgive them? Well, the penalty of sin is death. And I like the way it was represented in the Old Testament. In the Old Testament, the people of Israel ha had to sacrifice an animal in order to be forgiven of their sins. Now, that wasn't uncommon during that time in history, but for the people of Israel, it served the purpose to remind them of the severity of their sin. The fact was something had to take their place in order for them to be forgiven because a crime had been committed. For some reason, Christians don't really seem to see how bizarre an idea this is. Judeo-Christian dogma seems to be the only context in which anybody sees the idea of somebody innocent taking the punishment of somebody guilty as something even remotely resembling justice. In what other context would we accept the idea of somebody innocent taking the punishment for somebody who is guilty? If a judge ever said to a defendant, I find you guilty of murder and the only just sentence is death, but I don't want you to suffer such a punishment, so I will go to the election chair on your behalf. Would anyone, even Christians, find that to be anything other than completely insane? Wouldn't it make a lot more sense for the convict to just be pardoned? You say that God had to become Jesus and Jesus had to be sacrificed because somebody had to, a crime was committed, those are the rules. But didn't God make those rules? It seems as though God is finagling a loophole in rules that he could just change or could have made differently in the first place. As Venom Fang X used to point out, Christianity is not a works righteous system. And this is something else that never really made sense to me. No matter how good a person you are, you are still guilty of original sin and you will not be redeemed without recognizing the sacrifice of Jesus. Let's consider the logic of this. You are guilty of something your ancestors did, and no matter how good you are, no matter what you contribute to other people, no matter if you repair the damage of any harm you may have done to anybody, it will never make up for the guilt you carry for this crime that you you never even committed, and the only way to redeem yourself is by placing your guilt onto the sacrifice of somebody else who is completely innocent. Makes perfect sense, doesn't it?